everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! It is 2020 and I'm currently in Queenstown, New Zealand. So I'm getting ready for dinner right now with Kyle. I feel like this entire trip has been very active and I've been kind of in my Birkenstocks and boyfriend jeans the whole time. So tonight I want to kind of dress up a little bit. I wanted to do a very simple brown smoky eye. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of tinted moisturizer, but I really like this one. It comes out like a cream and it has a very, very light natural finish, but it's really pretty. I would love to hear what your New Year's intentions are. Comment below what your New Year's resolutions or intentions are. I tend to call them intentions because, I don't know, for some reason a, a resolution sounds like a rule that I desperately want to break because just love that self-sabotage. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so for me for the new year, what I'm going to focus on is producing more content for this channel. I want to bring more makeup videos to you guys, more skincare videos, because YouTube is so fulfilling and exciting to me. Also, I really want to focus on in 2020, cultivating friendships and spending time with people that lift me up and make me better and challenge me. So that's another thing. And I also am trying to be more adventurous. Those are my goals, you guys. The next thing that I'm going to do is a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes, my chin. Sometimes I do a little bit right here because I kind of get shadows there and a little bit here in general, just kind of trying to brighten up the center of my face. One step that I pretty much always do first that I forgot to do is I'm using the Clovoon Nourishing Care Lip Sleeping Mask. I've been using this for a while now. I absolutely love it, so. The next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of bronzer. Just kind of take this big fluffy brush and wipe it through there. Take a little bit off on my hand and I tend to apply my bronzer just sort of to the outside of my face. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to curl my lashes. Also, I want to know what did you guys do for the new year? Did you party? Did you stay in? Did you hang out with friends? So I'll tell you what I did with Kyle. So we actually stayed in like a boat shed here in New Zealand. We were actually in Wellington and it was like this tiny little tiny house. That is where we spent our New Year's and we just made dinner there and hung out and had some wine. It was so relaxing and it was really nice to be there, just the two of us. Um, but please let me know what you did and if you got into any shenanigans. I want to hear about it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on these eyebrows of mine. So I've been using this Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I really like this. It's very pigmented and goes on really easily and really well. So I really like this. I basically, for my eyebrows, what I do is I try to kind of trace the outline of the shape that I want to create. And it's not easy because I don't have a super defined shape. My eyebrows are like kind of trace the shape and then fill in from there. I might have to do this off camera just because it takes a very, very long time long time. Oh, what is this like weird rat tail coming out? <laughs> now I'm going to use a little bit of tinted brow gel. So this is this one. I always use it just to kind of comb over any mistakes that I made. I'm going to take a smidge of pressed powder, but not a lot just because I think sometimes powder can make you look a little bit cakey. I don't want that. I'm going to start the smoky eye now. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of brown eyeliner. I'm going to do it on the top of my eyelid and also below. Um, for the bottom of my eye, I tend to do my eyeliner on the outside so I don't go inside my eye. I just think it makes my eyes look a little more open and bigger, which is always what I'm trying to achieve. And I kind of start from the center over just because again, if I go all the way in, sometimes I think that makes it look, my eyes look smaller for some reason. It's also okay if it's a little bit messy, I'm going to blend it out. So let's do it. I'm also gonna go inside my lash line. Okay, it will get better, just leave that. This looks crazy, but we're gonna blend it out now. So a lot of times I really just tend to use my finger. I just feel like it makes my eyes pop a little bit. It's okay if it's smudgy and kind of messy. I actually think that's kind of sexier. The thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use just sort of a light brown color all over my lid. Um, I'm going to use this color right here. It was actually in this bronzer palette, but it's a nice, like simple color. So let's do that. So I'm gonna use this palette right here. Don't mind it, it probably looks mildly destroyed because I spilled pressed powder all over it because I am a klutz. So to intensify this eye, I'm going to go into this color right here. It's called Self Starter. I'm going to intensify kind of this crease area and focus on the outside of my eye. 
So to kind of soften the edges, I'm actually gonna go into a light color like this, like the edges don't look super harsh. I'm going to take this color on this fluffy brush and sort of just go around that darker color just to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to bump this up just a tiny bit more. I wanna add a little bit of shimmer, so I'm going to do that sort of in the center of my eye. I'm gonna go in with actually this gold color right here. It's called Inspire. I don't have all of my makeup brushes, so I'm kind of making do with some stuff that I have in my makeup bag. So now it is time to do mascara. I'm using this Falsies Lash Lift. I'm going to curl my lashes one more time just to give them a little more lift. Oh, my foot's asleep. Ow! Next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of blush. This is a new product actually Maybelline came out with, but um, I really like it. It's a gel cream, so it has a really nice consistency. I'm not gonna do too much blush. This is the color, looks like that. And I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. For my blush, I of course always apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Cause you guys, some people ask me like how I do my blush, even though people are like, you put way too much blush on. And I'm like, I know. Um, but I definitely put it on the apples of my cheeks. But I think what always makes it look more natural is sort of blending it outward. So it's not just on the apples of your cheeks. So it gives you an overall blushed, flushed look. And then also applying a little bit to the bridge of my nose. One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to put a tiny bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't understand. I got, I have so much hair on my head, so much hair on my arms. Like, I think that's an Italian thing. I don't know, comment below. Um, but like no eyelashes and no freaking brows. Like, come the frick on. The next thing I'm going to do is some highlighter. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of like this brownish colored lipstick. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. It was pretty simple, pretty easy, and you guys can definitely do this at home. I really like this because I feel like it just accentuates my eyes. It's sexy, the browns and sort of gold tones I really like right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy New Year. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you guys wanna see from me in 2020, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.